Good morning, everybody. Please, I crave your indulgence to sit. Go ahead, Prime Minister. You're, you're welcome. His Excellency, Mr. Babajide Sawandu, the Executive Governor of Lagos State, the President of Lagos State Grassroots Soccer Association, gentlemen of the press, members of staff of Protection Law Services Limited and Ubon King Foundation, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Three years ago, nearly three years, by December, three years, on the 26th of um, December 2020, our founder, the president of the Ubon King Foundation, my husband, Dr. Ubon Thompson King, passed away after a brief illness. Despite his sudden departure, his work and impact through the activities of the foundation he established continues to resonate. His passing did not stop the work that had started. Despite having to grapple with the challenges of losing our founder so unexpectedly, the Ubon King Foundation, under my watch, has continued to excel and has proven to be a force to be reckoned with in its mission to contribute to the realization of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals 1 and 4. These goals aim to produce by at least half the proportion of men, women, and children of all ages living in poverty and to ensure that young people acquire the knowledge and skills needed to promote sustainable development through quality education by the year 2030. Indeed, the messenger may be no more. We keep reiterating that all the time. But the message continues to speak. His great legacies live on nonetheless. The foundation has been unstoppable, despite the fact that the founder is no more. We are determined to continue the dreams and vision of a man who understood that the sky is wide enough to accommodate all the stars. So he wasn't threatened by the success of others, and he actively worked to ensure that other people succeeded, which is the background to which he decided to sponsor this tournament, the under-15 tournament. In the months following Dr. Ubon King's departure, the foundation has received numerous posthumous awards for excellence from several notable platforms and continue to implement programs aimed at bettering the lives of youths, which was the heartbeat of Ubon King. In line with the ideals of the Grassroots Sports Development Department of the Youth and Sports Ministry, which the purpose for the establishment of that department was to scout, identify, and develop talents as well as raise awareness about fitness and mass participation in sports and recreational activities among the Nigerian citizens. We made that decision as a foundation to do our own bit in conjunction with the Lagos Grassroots Association, a state in which our foundation operates to ensure that we touch lives at the grassroots level in a way that we can. One such program is why we are gathered here today for this press conference, the Ubon King Under 15 Lagos Grassroots Sports Competition. On Tuesday, I will go back memory lane a little bit. Um, I've seen some regular faces <laughs> of the press, but I think maybe one or two people are showing up for the first time. When the organization approached him through his foundation to contribute to sponsoring the Under 15 football competition, he didn't hesitate. He saw it as an opportunity to help lift young people out of poverty and lack. The first Ubon King Under-15 football tournament took place at the Legacy Field National Stadium in Surulere, Lagos. The second edition of that competition held in 2019, and it was also a huge success by the grace of God. In 2020, the tournament could not take place due to the worldwide pandemic. We plunged into a pandemic crisis by the insidious coronavirus. And in 2021, 
as part of activities to honor the memory of our late founder and mark the first anniversary of his death. The foundation again donated trophies for this competition. The foundation believed that it would go a long way in uncovering raw talent that could be trained into formidable sports people, motivating the youth, fostering unity, promoting healthy rivalry among the teams, and offering scouts the opportunity to discover young talents to replace older players in our league and national teams, while also serving as a means of job creation through sports. This tournament has produced stars like the association has rightly mentioned the names of Afemi Martins, Taiye Taiwo, and more. And now I am also adding two more names to that list of growing talents, Temi Lomuwa and Deva King, and Jibril Aziz, and it's growing. I think the next names, I would love to hear the girls as well. <laughs> yeah. So, in December 2022, we kept our promise to include females. We had promised at the last um, press conference that we had that we're going to start the female arm of the competition. And that promise was kept in December 2022. For the first time, female under 15 teams played and competed for the overall trophy in the finals. They are now preparing for the 2023 edition of the tournament, which the kickoff was last week on the 14th of October, 2023, to hear out the beginning of the preliminary matches leading up to the finals that will happen in December 26, 2023. A lot has happened in our, com in our country recently, and um, we are not strangers to what's going on in the country, but we see grassroots football as a catalyst for improving physical and mental health, grassroots development and learning. Grassroots football helps to foster community life and it is a proven force for good as indigent and marginalized children and youth can find opportunities to hone their skills, build social confidence, grow their leadership skills and encourage lifelong learning. We cannot downplay the importance of grassroots sports in the development of any nation. It's important. It cannot be overemphasized. If it is well managed, it forms the foundation for sports. It's the foundation for any sport, um, football, whatever level anybody wants to play it to. The grassroots is the foundation. And it evolves into high performance sports that results in the creation of immense value and strategic outcomes. If we catch them young, which is what the grassroots football competition seeks to do, these young ones can be mentored to en and engage to channel their talents productively via sports. By doing so, they will have less time for crime or harmful vices that plague our youth. At the grassroots level, talents are spotted and develop for greater exploits exploit that will put the individual and the nation in the limelight. Besides helping to encourage healthy lifestyles, because when you're playing, of course, you're exercising, grassroots sports also creates a source of livelihood, including um, professional sports league, because a lot arises from this, and teams, sports media, sports equipment, apparel manufacturers, it creates a lot of um, other streams which helps, goes a long way in bettering one's lifestyle, sporting events and tournaments, sports marketing and sponsorship, sports technology, sports tourism. Each of these sectors contributes to the overall economic success of any country and sports diplomacy, which can lead to productive collaborations and cultural exchange among countries. As I bring this speech to a close, I would I love to say this. The future is bright. If grassroots sports are well synergized, it will have a positive impact on the country. Its major challenge, however, is funding and sponsorship, 
which do not encourage a lot of people to want to participate. It doesn't encourage development and growth of sports in the country. The Obon King Foundation has been steadily contributing to the development of grassroots sports for five years now, and we solicit the support and encouragement of well-able individuals who are able to join us in this worthwhile venture. Sports of any kind is a unifying force that engenders peace. It knows no tribe. It's one's abilities, it's your skills that speak for you in the field of play. The Obon King Foundation is set to do more with the help and support of partners, friends, and family. We are prepared to do more in the coming year and contribute to the development of youth in Nigeria, Africa, and beyond. Thank you very much.